Today I have great news. After almost a year and several attempts, it seems that cruises are really going to start sailing again, according to one announcement that one of the big companies just made. Unfortunately, it is not all good news for all cruise fans. Royal Caribbean International just revealed that its new ship, the Odyssey of the Seas, which has just left the shipyard, will go into operation in a few months, in May 2021. The Odyssey of the Seas is the second ship of the Quantum Ultra class, weighing 169,000 tons and measuring 347.1 meters. The vessel has a capacity to carry more than 5,000 passengers. Today, the company announced that from May, the ship will be making short trips between three and seven nights, leaving the port of Haifa in Israel to the Greek islands and Cyprus. The Odyssey of the Seas will be the second ship in the Royal Caribbean fleet to go into operation, following the success of the Quantum of the Seas that started making trips to nowhere, short trips where passengers can enjoy the comforts of the ship but without disembarking any ports. With those trips, the company could start testing security and health protocols against COVID. The biggest difference now, though, is that with the vaccine becoming more accessible, the crew and all passengers above 16 years old will only be able to board the ship if they are vaccinated. The ship starting to sail is great news for the industry and for the company that last week reported losses of more than $5 billion due to the situation of COVID. Unfortunately, as in Singapore, at this time, only Israelis leaving Israel will be able to embark. Another piece of news that's not so good is that due to the ship's deployment to Israel, all trips of the Maiden European season, leaving from Rome, which was scheduled to start from May 9 until October 28, 2021, were cancelled. The company justified that, with the current virus situation in Europe, it was not feasible to go ahead with the European season and decided to relocate the ship to Israel, which has a large number of the population already vaccinated and also has been keeping the COVID situation well under control. Certainly, the decision makes sense, but unfortunately, it leaves hundreds of passengers who had booked their trips months ago very disappointed, including me. I had booked back-to-back -back trips on the Odyssey of the Seas for September and October and was getting ready and excited to show all the features of the new ship firsthand here on the channel. But honestly, I would definitely have other chances to embark on the Odyssey of the Seas in the future. The best now is to focus on the idea that things are getting better and that the world will soon be back to normal. Please, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell to be notified of the latest news. See you next time!